All right, folks, going to do a little short video. Just finally warming up enough to uh, start cleaning up the pond. Bed doors for spring cleaning and uh, getting ready. I mean, the fish are starting to eat a little bit now. I put some food in the tank earlier just to uh, see if they'd go for it. They're doing a pretty good job on that. Uh, the water's finally gotten above 60 degrees. <clears throat> but the uh, main reason for this little clip here, I've been doing things to cut back on pumps. Electricity is getting to be ridiculous. But that flow of water right there is coming out of my return. That thing is roughly 500 gallons uh, over there. I've been on YouTube and looking for airlift uh, design, airlift pump. Well, most everything I found was, you know, overseas in a language I couldn't understand. But uh, in studying the videos, I put a concept together and kind of built my own. Uh, it's running now. That's the water flow coming out here. I'm not going to take it down. If you want to uh, get an idea how this works, just do uh, go to YouTube and do airlift pump search and you'll find them. But basically what that is, the deeper you go, the better it is. I didn't have enough depth. That right there is only two foot, about 100 gallons, but it's returned. You got a four inch return over there. Basically how that works, it's a flow siphon deal. I stick a tube up inside the pipe and suck the air out and deplace by uh, taking the air out, the water comes in. It works the same theory as that tank, uh, upside down aquarium. You suck the air out, water goes in, they swim up. And this little short piece right here is doing the same thing. It siphons over. I suck the air out, start to flow, and you're good to go. That little air pump, they claim you could do this with uh, as little as an AP20. I got the AP100. I think the heck I went to the max. It wasn't that much more than the 20. But I'm going to make sure it works. Fairly quiet. Just a little home there. But that's down in wattage. We're talking about 100. I can't get close enough for a focus. But yeah, I'm getting a reflection. But anyway, it's 100 watt. Uh, 1.5 amp. And uh, yeah, 100 watt, 1.5 amp. And the pump that I had doing this was uh, really eating me up. It was over a thousand watts, 15 amp. Uh, <laughs> cost you a fortune to run it continuously 24 hours a day. I've already taken three pumps off of this system uh, and replaced them. You know, we're trying to do things with uh, siphon, uh, multiple functions on one pump. Uh, I've got quite a bit, bit running back there from the plant bed to the, um, you know, just several things on one pump. But anyway, this back to this, it's working great. I'm amazed at how much it's moving. I made my own head. This piece of pipe here, it's, I picked that up in a construction dumpster. Six foot is what they claim does best. The more rise you have with the air, the more flow of water. Well, this piece was a little over four foot, four foot, not even four and a half foot, but I utilized that. Uh, dug it, buried it in the ground, of course, sealed the bottom, and got it level with this so that my water level there stays the same as in the pot. Okay, all said and done with the head on the bottom. You can get more details on that, like I say, with uh, airlift pump. Uh, airlift pump search on YouTube you'll find the way it's built mine is out of three inch pipe I couldn't decide what their sizing was but mine was three inch pipe it's four foot deep on the bottom of a chamber that you make with fittings using the coupling and a little bit on each side so you got a chamber on the inside of space and this half inch line going in goes to that chamber inside has got a bunch of little eighth inch or, or sixteenth inch holes it's giving me this flow. Now, I, I gauged this flow, and it was uh, 7.5, 7, right at 7.5 uh, seconds on 5 gallons. It would give me 5 gallons in 7.5 seconds. Uh, doing the math all the way through, uh, I'm getting an average of 2,751 gallons an hour. That's pretty good on a 100-watt uh, deal. 
uh, 1.5 amp. It beat any pump that I had on it. I mean, that, that's a good water water return there. And like I say, this complete cycle coming in, you can see it coming in back there. And this, there's other things I want to do to this here, but that's the plants. There's stuff warming up that'll grow like crazy. Water's coming in on that side, coming over to this side, and going into my chamber, which gives, like I say, this one's four foot, working great. Coming through, all three, this is three inch. Uh, you see, well, that's just an overflow there. But there's my flow. The fish love the current. They seem to be having a ball with that. Of course, they're also having a ball with the fact that this has been the worst winter that we've had in many, many, many years. Which I think in turn has caused me some leakage problems because uh, water and concrete and freezing weather doesn't mix very well. Just a little bit of moisture freezing will split and crack. And I seem to be losing water. But maybe that will seal up with roots or what have you when the plant growth gets going good again. So it's going to be a major repair, hard to repair. It's not so much that I'm going to freak out about it because i got a well that takes care of the water flow. Look at the fishies going up in there. We get a little warmer, boy. They're gonna really get active. Really, really get active. Anyway, just some ideas. If you guys want to research that uh, air lift pump deal, you'll find several other little videos out there that will probably give you a little better information than I did. I just wanted to tell you that it works. That flow of water coming out there is better than any electrical pump that I had going. It was costing me a fortune to run. And I'm doing three times the work over there, and three times the flow. So hopefully they they see me. <laughs> they see me. Yep. Water warming up. Time to eat. They see me. They're coming at it. I want some food? Sorry guys, I don't have any on me right now. I love that tank. You see how they swim up in there? I put the food in there, and they really fight over it in there. They'll all try to get in there, and. They, some of the fish are actually bigger than that tank. That's a 20 gallon tank. To give you an idea, those are pretty good sized fish. Oh well. That's enough for now. Later on, we'll do a little more. Things start growing. That'll be full of blooms and flowers and everything around there starts growing. But right now, <laughs> everything's pretty much dead. <laughs> Alright, adios. Goodbye.